Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to week four of the NPL, the National Pokeball League, of course. This week, your Montreal Hapsols are taking on the Phoenix Sunkern for the first time ever. That's right, Mr. Cheese Boy 628 This is going to be our first game that we've ever played against each other, even though we've been in the, uh, the same league for, for a few seasons. Um, I think he was around. I want to say that Cheese was around when I uh, replaced Rob in the NPL way back then. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure on that, don't quote me. Uh, but Cheese is a great player. Cheese is somebody who's made uh, playoffs. He's given uh, great players runs for their money, like uh, Verd, and, and uh, I think he even beat Verd in playoffs, if I'm not mistaken. It could be, I could be mistaken, but um, there were just, he, he he's a great player. Uh, so you guys should go and check him out in the description uh, down below, definitely. And uh, and go and check out all the other coaches as well. Obviously, yeah, that's, a, that's a running thing. I forgot to mention that last week in my video, but, uh, but go and check out everybody uh, that we play against and just the, the league in general. Give us some support. Anyway, let's get hop into team matchup, of course, before we start. Uh, as you guys can see, battle time is in the comment section down below. It's a pinned comment. I will leave it there so you guys can click the timestamp and skip ahead to the battle if you want to skip this portion. Uh, obviously, the team builder is very informative and tells you exactly what I'm bringing and why. So, looking at his team, he has Zygarde, Clefable, Serena, Weavile, a Z Beware, Slowbro, Mandibuzz, Miss Magius, Miss Magius, whatever, uh, a Z Porygon Z, a Scavalier, Z Alolan Golem, and Mega Camera. So, he's got Trick Room elements uh, because of Slowbro, because of um, I, I believe Miss Mag gets Trick Room as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he's, he's got ways to Trick Room up, and he's got huge threats in Trick Room as well, uh, with uh, Alolan Golem, uh, Mega Camera up specifically, uh, Scavalier, all of those things uh, are very, very threatening to my team. But the first thing that I notice is his team is very weak to Mega Scizor. Uh, he doesn't have great uh, responses to it. Uh, his best thing that he can do is like trap me with Alolan Golem and Fire Punch me. Uh, and even then, if I'm already boosted, as you can see, I'm a curse that if I'm already boosted, I have a chance to knock him out. Um, Mega Camera Upt is another huge threat to Mega Scizor, but other than that, nothing really deals with Cursed Mega Sizz too well. Mandibuzz's foul play does nothing. Uh, PZ, I guess, can HP fire me, but it doesn't knock me out from full unless it specs. Um, and then just like Flamethrower, Clefable, Flamethrower, Slowbro maybe, but even that is, is very iffy. Uh, he's just very generally weak to this, so I decided to run a max H or near max HP set uh, with 144 defense EVs with a, uh, an impish nature. 72 in spit F and 44 in speed. The 72 in spit F is to make sure that I'm living flamethrowers from uh, from Slowbro and Clefable, for example. I, I take those pretty well. And uh, as well as like Miss Magius' Shadow Balls. I, I can eat special hits decently with this Mon, uh, as well as physical hits, obviously. And especially when I'm cursed up, he will not be able to break this with pretty much any of his physical attackers. Uh, Beware is possibly the only one that can with Fire Punch. Uh, everything else, yeah, that's even even if Beware gets Fire Punch, I can't recall right now. But anyway, his physical threats are not threatening my Mega Scizor, so Metallica is probably going to put in a lot of work this game. Moving on to the next Mon is Arcade Fire Moltres coming for the first time. I decided to bring this because Beware is a threat to my team. I do not have good switch-ins for banded sets, and Moltres deals with it relatively well. It can come in, potentially get a Flame Body. It's faster than banded. I uh, can flamethrower it, fluffy, it, I, it gets nuked. Uh, Toxic is there because I wanted to cover the uh, the Zygarde, the Slowbro, some of his better switches to uh, my Moltres, uh, Mandibuzz especially, uh, and uh, PZ on a timer is uh, a lot easier to deal with than not on a timer. So, uh, and obviously Mega Camera Up can, can switch into me relatively well unless I have the flamethrower, so that's why I decided to, uh, unless I have the Toxic, excuse me. Uh, that's why I decided to toss that on there. We're Roost and U-Turn. I feel that U-Turn is going to help me out a lot because uh, I do force out certain things like Serena, his uh, Weavile, for example, if it's not like banded, locked into Icicle Crash. Um, just a lot of things uh, on his team do not want to deal with Moltres. His Cavalier, for example. Uh, Moltres is probably my best to Cavalier check. Otherwise, Escav Escav would run through me uh, quite easily, uh, other than Mega Scizor maybe, but even that, it's uh, it's not the most simple of, of things to deal with because of Swords Dance. So, uh, yeah, Moltres uh, here as a good defensive pivot into a lot of his stuff. Moving on, we have probably the biggest threat, I want to say, to his team, uh, and that is Imagine Dragons, the Dragalgy. So I've tailored this set to be able to knock out uh, most of the time 
Camerupt, Alolan Golem, and Clefable. So Clefable is scared out by me and gets Sludge Wave to Helen back. Um, Mega Camel takes, max HP Mega Camel takes, uh, I believe it's a min of 98 point something from Surf. Uh, there's one roll that doesn't kill it, if I'm not mistaken. It's, it's one roll, everything else kills it. Uh, and Alolan Golem uh, is almost guaranteed KO'd by Draco Meteor, even max HP. So uh, I feel that this, this is the perfect anti-rock lead set. Uh, that I can bring, best anti-rock lead set that I can bring for his team, as well as carrying Toxic Spikes, because I feel the Toxic Spikes are going to help me wear down Zygarde, Weavile, Slowbro, uh, and PZ, mainly those. So that's that's what I'm hoping will uh, will happen, is that I'm able to keep on my Toxic Spikes. His Hazard Removal is limited to Serena, which cannot beat Dragology, uh, as well as Mandibuzz. So uh, his his Hazard Removal is very limited, and if he brings Mandibuzz, I don't feel that Mandibuzz has a good matchup against me uh, in general, just because it's really only dealing with, like, Lando. Everything else sort of takes advantage of it. So uh, that's... Uh, it, it's, it's iffy, and I feel like getting up the Toxic Spike is going to help me out a lot, so that's the purpose behind the set. Also, the speed. Uh, I had mocks where my opponents did not expect me to run this much speed. Uh, this is more than Mega Camera Up can ever hit. Uh, this is also faster than Clefable with like 24, 32 speed, uh, and it's also faster than uh, most of the Golem variants that he would probably bring, so I decided to, to pack a lot of speed specifically to, uh, to be able to counter uh, his Rock Leads. Also, uh, I believe that uh, Mega Camel def definitely knocks me out. Golem does not uh, from full with Earthquake, uh, which is its strongest move to hit me. And uh, Clefable with Ice Beam obviously does not knock me out. Uh, as well as there was something else on his team. Uh, I think it's PZ doesn't knock me out with Specs Adaptability Tri Attack, and I'm able to get a huge Draco off on it. So obviously this could end up being a suicide lead, but uh, I do want to deal with his bigger threats uh, using this as a lead. So that's Imagine Dragons. Moving on to the next mod on the team, we have Motorhead. Lando T coming this week with an Earth Plate. So I see that his team is mostly grounded other than Mandibuzz. And uh, I feel like spamming uh, Max Attack, Adamant, Earth Plate, Earthquake is going to be really, really solid for me. So that's why I'm running that. Uh, U turn and Knock Off. Knock Off is just generally good against him. It gets rid of really important items for him, uh, like Slow Bros, Rocky Helmet, for example, or Leftovers. Uh, it can hit Miss Magius, uh, which I otherwise wouldn't be able to hit uh, for super effective damage. So that's quite nice. Getting rid of Mandibuzz's Leftovers, if I get a toxic off on that thing uh with um with Moltres is going to be nice. Uh, getting rid of PZ specs is going to make it a lot easier to deal with uh, in a lot of cases and obviously um uh, just getting rid of like Clefable's leftovers, Zygarde's leftovers, any anything, any leftovers realistically, uh, just going for knockoff is, is really strong against him. And then Stealth Rock last move, uh, just to wear down his team in general and get off 25% on the Mandibuzz mainly uh, in case that comes. So next up on the team, we have uh, one of the more pivotal members, I would say. Aha, the Whimsicott, <laughs> named after uh, Take On Me. You guys know that song, I hope. Uh, some of you might be too young, but uh, but it's a pretty popular song nonetheless. We have Prankster, Whimsicott, Leftovers, Moonblast, U-Turn, Encore, and Defog. We're mo mostly defensive with 248 HP and 172 in defense. 88 speed with a boosting nature. This is enough for Zygarde. Now, I'm very well aware that Zygarde gets Sludge Wave. I was one of the first people to use Sludge Wave against a four times weakness, uh, aka Bulu. So I'm, I'm perfectly aware of that. I know that Zygarde can hit me. The thing is, with the momentum that I have into this thing, Zygarde can't usually just willy-nilly click Sludge Wave because my Scizor is slower, my Moltres is slower, and my Lando is probably slower as it's only hitting 241 for the Beware once again. So most of the time I'll be able to get a clean U-turn. If he Dragon Dances in front of me, I can Encore him and there's no problem. Unless of course he's uh, E-Speed, he'll bypass the Encore and I'll lock him into that. But that's not that bad either because then I can bring in Moltres and play for the Flame Body Burn or go for the Toxic. Uh, double status, kind of like what Zapdos does with Static uh, with static and, and Toxic. So um, yeah, Whimsicott uh, I, I feel is, is pretty important here. Also Moonblast is really spammable against this team as you can see. Uh, he doesn't have great switch-ins to it. Uh, the best one being a Scavalier, but my team takes so much advantage of a Scavalier that I feel like um, he probably won't bring it. So I'm kind of banking on that. And of course we have Defog because that's going to support Moltres. So that's, uh, that's Whimsicott. 
Uh, you turn last move. I didn't mention that, but once again, getting more more momentum. Uh, I had Leech Seed originally on here, and I felt like U-Turn was probably just a better bring. So yeah, moving on to the last member of the team, we have Alamomola making a return. Brown Shushu coming with leftovers, liquidation, wish, protect, toxic. So. Uh, I EV'd my Alamomola to knock out uh, max HP camera up, I believe, after rocks with liquidation, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that's why I have the 24 attack investment. 14 HP plus 216 in spit F. Now, I did do some tests. The showdown set is correct. It's the best way to maximize Alamomola's bulk. Uh, and I didn't feel like I needed Alamomola specifically to check any one thing or another. But with this Spadef, it's as good as it's going to get to check the uh, the Mega Camera to be able to come in on its Earth Powers and um, and Fire Blast and force it out. Uh, it's also going to be able to take a hit from uh, potentially a non-Specs PZ, uh, non-Specs uh, Miss Magius, all that stuff. And of course, the physical bulk is to be able to take on Zygarde, Weavile, those guys. So I feel like this is probably the better set that I can bring. And I just sacrificed a little bit of defense to move it into attack so that I could get the uh, the knockout on camera up. So, that's the full team. Uh, I had a few mocks. Things went well. Uh, in one of my mocks with Adam, actually, um, I think Verd and Trev were in call. And something happened, and I'll be mentioning that in a bit uh, when we actually get to the game. So, let's actually hop into it, and uh, you'll see what Cheese decided to bring. So, he's got Slowbro, Clefable, Miss Magius, um... Mandibuzz, Zygarde, and Weavile. And the first thing I saw was, there's no Porygon Z. And I was shocked. <laughs> I was like, wait, why? why? Why did PZ not come? And and this was something that I noticed in my mocks, is that nobody brought Specs Porygon Z. Well, one person brought Agility, another person brought Scarf, but nobody brought Specs, even though it plows through my team. Like, my speed tiers are are not good enough to challenge Specs Porygon Z. Were you afraid of Keldeo? Keldeo that has an absolutely horrid matchup against this team? That's that's what I was sort of thinking. Um, and I, I was I, I was just blown away the, the fact that uh, he did not bring PZ. But to each his own. He built a team uh, a certain way, so. Uh, right away, uh, now this is one thing that I probably should have reconsidered. And uh, in every single mock that I had, I led with Dragalge and ended up switching it out. And I thought about it and I was like, I still want to prevent rocks if possible from the Clefable because it's his only rocker on the team. So if I can lead with Dragalge, catch the Clefable, get off a sludge wave on something, I'm looking pretty good. So that's what I'm going to try to do. And uh, what do you know? I'm going to have to switch out my Dragalge turn one again <laughs> as he leads with his Zygarde. So very unfortunate he led with this thing. Uh, had I led with Lando, it would have been the freest knockoff or U-turn or even Stealth Rocks of my life. But I didn't so instead decide to lead with a uh, bigger threat to his team, and it doesn't work out because he leads with Zygarde. So, right here I'm going to switch into Aloe because I feel like it's the best pivot against him. And, uh, oh boy, Thousand Waves. <laughs> That's a great start. We're trapped immediately. So, first thing I'm thinking is, Zygarde's going to sub on me, and I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. And it was very, very uh, disheartening knowing that I would lose my aloe this quickly. So I'm like, all right, well, uh, let me attempt to toxic him because maybe, maybe he's Thousand Waves toxic. And that's exactly what happens. He goes for a toxic and so do I. And luckily we both land. So he's now on a timer two and I have Wish Protect. So I have a way to heal up. I haven't seen an item on his Zygarde yet. I have no idea what it is, but he goes into his Clefable as I click Wish. So. This is a pretty good turn for me. Uh, I'm able to actually switch out my aloe and keep it around. And I'm going to go into Lando as he goes for his Stealth Rocks. So his Stealth Rocks go up, so be it. It's fine. I get up my own. He goes into Slowbro. And uh, right here I'm thinking, okay, well, I can just U-turn. I can go into uh, Whimsicott uh, or Aloe. Either one, realistically, is fine here. Um, Whimsicott will be able to eat a nice beam, no problem. He's threatened out by the potential grass move, obviously. He's going to see leftovers, but he still has to be weary of me going for U-turn, me going for, for a Giga Drain or uh, an Energy Ball. It's always a really big threat to his Slowbro. So I'm going to click U-turn, and I'm going to bring in my Whimsicott. And this boy brought counter Slowbro. So down goes my Whimsicott. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, well, I'm down 6-5, and I lost probably one of the most important members of my team, because if you look at his team, his only switch in to Moonblast, comfortably, is Clefable. Nothing else <laughs> deals with me spamming Moonblast, and I just lost my Whimsicott, God, just like that. Luckily, I know that his Zygarde is not a setup set, so it's not going to be too big of a threat, 
but losing Whimsicott like that really sucked. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into Dragalge, because I want to... He hasn't seen my item yet, and I switched out turn 1 against his Zygarde. Uh, so he's thinking, okay, well, he's not Shuka, he must be Specs, uh, is what I had on my mind. I was like, okay, uh, I'm going to go into Dragalge, I'm going to threaten to fire off a Draco Meteor and uh, force out the Slowbro, just for now. Because right now, I don't have anything else that can comfortably deal with it, because it's freaking counter. So I can't U-turn on it with Sizz or Lando, because I might lose another Mon. So I'm going to go for Sludge Wave here, as he ends up going into Mandibuzz. And this does a really good amount, it does 44%, uh, so I'm like, whoa, okay. Uh, adaptability Dragalge, thank you. Appreciate the damage. Uh, obviously, his mana buzz is going to be faster than me, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play for the 10% uh, poison with uh, Black Sledge, because uh, so long as he needs to keep going for Roost, uh, I'm looking pretty good here. So, I'm going to go for the uh, the Sludge Wave here, and second turn, second time going for it, we get the poison. So, mana buzz is crippled right now, and... Um, I'm going to get up a T-Spike here, as he actually decides to roost again, which I was surprised about, because um, if I kept spamming Sludge Wave, he was in a very, very bad spot. He would lose his Mana Buzz, which is essentially his its his only form of hazard removal, and then I could get up T-Spikes later in the game and just wear down everything. So I was really, really shocked that he stayed in here just to go for uh, the Roost, as I go for the T-Spike, and I'm going to go for another Sludge Wave here, I believe. As he goes for Defog, so that's fine. He got rid of the rocks that he put up himself. I still have my rocker around, so I'm not too worried about it. As uh, he's going to go for U-Turn here, and uh, he's going to go into Weavile, and I go for a Toxic Spike again. So had I gone for a Draco Meteor there, Weavile would have just gone. Uh, but I didn't want him to just roost and, and expect my eventual Draco Meteor. Now, I calc banded Weavile's Pursuit. Uh, it does a max of like 80 to me. And it's still worth keeping this thing around because it does outspeed the clef, does outspeed the slow bro. So I thought about it and I'm like, yeah, I'll switch out. Even if he pursuits me, uh, if I see 80% on my Dragalge, I know he's choiced and I can just go for a U turn. And his Mandibuzz is sitting at 29%, so it can't even come in. So I'm going to switch out, go into Aloe. He does not pursue me. He goes for knockoff and it does 34. So I calc that up. So this is either uh, uh, Shadow, not Shadow Plate. Um, it might be Shadow Plate, but the Dark Plate. It's either the Dark Boosting or it's Adamant. Uh, I believe Adamant. It can't be banned. That damage doesn't respond to banned. It's, it's definitely not banned. Uh, it doesn't work. So he's either uh, Adam, just straight up Adamant or he's a boosting item. So I know that much about the Weavile. I know that it's not banned at the very least. So I'm going to go for a uh, Wish, I believe, right here. Actually, I go for a Toxic. Now, the reason I go for a Toxic is because... If he decides to go into his Mismag or stay in with his Weavile, I want to put it on a timer. Because it's not guaranteed that my T-Spike is going to stay up. So, uh, I decided to try to catch the Slowbro, try to catch the Weavile staying in, potentially going for Swords Dance, something of the sort. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, also, there was the chance that his Weavile would predict my Scizor pivoting in uh, on it and go for a Natural Gift Fire if that's what it ended up being, if it was Adamant Natural Gift. So, uh, I'm now going to switch out my uh, my Alamola as he goes for a roost with his Mana Buzz. He's still on a timer, and I'm going to get up my rocks here again. Uh, actually, at first I'm going to knock off the Mana Buzz. Uh, I wanted to get rid of its leftovers and really make it pressured by Dragalge later in the game, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, uh, he gets his weak armor boost, and um, he uh, he's now faster than my Lando, which actually ends up working out because he can never defog my rocks away this way. So, uh, he's gonna go for Foul Play, does 62, expected, I'm max adamant, so that's that's how much it's gonna do. He's gonna go for a Defog here, as I believe I go for Rocks again, and uh, then I'm going to go for Rocks again as he Foul Plays and knocks me out. So, now, the thing is, the Rocks are up, his Mana Buzz is sitting at 52%, so this is a very different si situation. Now I can get in my Scizor, and what my Scizor does is starts Cursing, and because I know his four moves, Roost, Defog, U-Turn, Foul Play, I know that he can't 1v1 me, unless he crits me a bunch. So, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go for the curse, curse number one. Done. Next up, he's going to go for the foul play, it does 29, curse again. Now I can roost on his mana buzz. If he wants to defog, he's just wasting a turn, so I'm fine with this. He goes for another foul play, it does 29, I go for the roost, I'm good, and we're going to go for another curse. Now, I EV'd my scissor with the speed that I put on it. I didn't mention this in the team builder, but the speed on my Scizor is enough to cover Slowbro once I'm at minus two. I'm still faster than it. So if I go for another curse, I'm slower than Slowbro. 
If I don't go for another curse, though, I'm not doing enough damage to Slowbro to knock it out with U-Turn. Plus two actually still does not knock, it, knock out max defense Slowbro. And that means that I'm going to have to U-Turn on it and lose him on to counter again. So we're just going to go for another curse. <laughs> and we're just going to uh, play off of the uh, Mana Buzz switching out, which it does. And he goes into Zygarde. Now, this is the moment that I was talking about in the team builder. <laughs> so yesterday, um, I'm recording this on the day that I played the battle. The day before, which is yesterday for me, I had my mock with Adam. And it always seems to be mocks with Adam for some reason, but Verd was in call, and so was Trev. And in the mock, the Zygarde um, was Sludge Wave, Toxic, it was Sludge Wave something. Uh, it was it had Sludge Wave for the Whimsicott, which ended up knocking out my Whimsicott, which I was fine with. Uh, but Verd says, <laughs> in while we're having this mock, he's like, Man, uh, Thousand Waves HP Fire is the only Zygarde set. <laughs> and when I saw Thousand Waves at the very beginning of the game trapping my aloe, the first thing I did was calced HP Fire on my Scizor. <laughs> that was the first reaction I had. It was like, let me see how much this actually does. And it does a max of like 55, I believe, to my Scizor. And we'll uh, we'll go from there. If, if the Zygarde comes in on me later in the game, I know it's HP Fire. And that's exactly what ends up happening. I go for Roost, and he goes for HP Fire here, and I start spamming Roost because he's on Toxic Timer. So he goes for HP Fire, does 41. I go for a Roost, so he's not. I don't think he's max special attack either. Uh, goes for another uh, Hidden Power Fire, crits me that time, which I knew would eventually happen if I kept roosting. Uh, it was a, it was an inevitability, but I can keep getting more and more health. So long as he doesn't keep critting me, I'm fine. Uh, we go for another roost there, and he's now down to 50%. Uh, goes for another Hidden Power Fire, gets a 45 roll. I get back up to 85%, and his Zygarde is going to drop to 26. And I go for another roost here because I want to kill off the Zygarde with Toxic. Uh, but he brings in his Slowbro, and I was really afraid of Flamethrower here. Flamethrower was my biggest fear, um, which would do a lot of damage to uh, my Scizor, but my Scizor can still heal on a couple of things. It can still heal on Mandibuzz. It can still potentially heal on his Weavile. So even if I take a Flamethrower, I might still be okay. So I'm going to go for a Roost here as he switches into Slowbro, and I'm going to go for the U-Turn. From 94, it knocks out Slowbro. Uh, so I'm going to go for the U-Turn, knocks it out. So I, th I believe the mineral was 92. Um, so there's a really good shot that I knock it out. If not, leave it extremely low. He goes for the Scald, doesn't get the burn, luckily, as I'm able to U-turn out on the Slowbro, and I finally get a kill on his team. But this opens up a lot of doors. The Zygarde's at 26 and Toxic. The Mandibuzz is at 51, so essentially 26 as well, and Poisoned. The Miss Mag hasn't revealed its set at all. The Clef has only come into Rock, and the Weavile is not banded from what I can tell. So, he's going to go into his Miss Mag here. And the first thing I thought was Nasty Plot. Nasty Plot would be very, very scary. But I know that Flamethrower does enough to where two Flamethrowers will put this thing in range of Bullet Punch. So, I'm not that terrified. So, I'm going to go for a Flamethrower. He goes for a Shadow Ball and it does 55% to me. Now, um, I considered moving some of my defense into Spadef before the game started. Uh, just so I, can take, I could take on things like Slowbro and, and stuff a little bit better. But I didn't end up doing it, and it would have actually mattered here if I had like moved as much as I wanted to into Spadef, uh, because his Miss Mag wouldn't have too hit KO'd me. I calc this up, this is Specs damage. So I get back to 51, and I'm going to go into Aloe, and I'm going to attempt to sack my Aloe so that I can get back in my Scizor on this thing and just bullet punch it. He actually ends up switching to his Mandibuzz on my Aloe as I go for the Liquidation, and because I knocked off this thing's leftovers earlier, it's going to die to poison with a combination of Liquidation. So that's perfect. He now goes into his Weavile, takes 24%. As I'm going to stay in, he goes for an Ice Shard, and I'm now going to bring in my Scizor and just click Bullet Punch and knock out the Weavile. So now we are down to 3 to 3. I was down 6 to 4 before, and we brought it back to 3 to 3. Now his Clefable comes in. I'm not risking my Scizor on Bullet on Flamethrower because if his uh, if I lose my Scizor, his Miss Mag pretty much just wins at this point. I take any amount of damage with my Dragalge and I lose to Miss Mag because I need to go for well Surf would probably take care of it uh, from where it's at. It's at uh, 45 right now. Uh, it would drop to uh, 33, and I'm pretty sure Surf is a min roll of 31 ish. 
So Surf could have cleaned it up, but I don't want to risk that. And I'm going to go directly into Dragalge. Yes, he could Calm Mind, but Sludge Wave is still a massive threat. Instead, he ends up going for Heal Bell. So this is a little bit of a problem because I no can no longer stall out the Zygarde the way I was before. But I can go for a Sludge Wave here, and he does not have a switch in because his Zygarde is too low. So he's going to go for the Moon Blast. He's going to drop my special attack, I believe, right here. No, he doesn't. Uh, I'm just going to go for another Sludge Wave, and I'm going to knock out the Clefable. I considered going for a T-Spike on that turn to get toxic or poison damage uh back onto the zygarde uh but that's not what ended up happening so uh and i knock out the clef now it's looking pretty easy for scissor i just have to play this end game correctly so i'm gonna switch out into moltres he's gonna go for the thousand waves doesn't hit me because it's not arrows and i'm gonna go for the toxic here i believe to put it back on the zygarde if he switched out to miss mag there i was out of range of shadow ball uh, to the point where I could probably click uh, Roost a couple of times and stay alive. Uh, and then his um, his Miss Mag would, would drop to Toxic eventually. So he's going to go for a Toxic on my uh, Moltres here. I don't go for... Um I don't go for Roost because it turns out that my Moltres actually ends up being faster than his Zygarde. So I'm just going to, uh, I believe here, go for a Flamethrower, if I'm not mistaken. As he goes for an E-Speed, so he reveals his last move to be E-Speed. I go for Flamethrower, and uh, his Zygarde's now sitting at 3%. And I'm going to go for a U-Turn here, as uh, I'm going to knock out the Zygarde with U-Turn. And I'm going to get in my Mega Scizor. Against his Miss Magius, this Bullet Punch always kills. And we bring back the game from a very, very scary counter early game, and uh, we're able to win this one 3-0. So uh, if I ca if I did catch that correctly, I believe that um, I don't think I gave Moltres a kill when I when I tallied up the kills. I know that uh, so Scizor killed uh, Slowbro, Miss Meg, and Weavile. Dragalge killed Clefable. Uh, Dragalge also killed Mandibuzz. And um, Zygarde died to uh, the U-turn from Moltres. So, uh, I think, yeah, uh, Mega Scizor got three kills. I think I gave it four, if I'm not mistaken, earlier. Uh, but it's actually still at seven kills, tied with Hoopa on my team for the number of kills. So I gotta go make that adjustment on the dock after. But uh, great game to Cheese, GG, man. Uh, I think that uh, you brought a very, very scary team. Uh, not exactly what I was expecting, but scary nonetheless i feel like if slowbro was flamethrower as opposed to scald this end game would have probably played out a little bit differently uh however i don't think my scissor took any damage after the um after the scald it was dropped to 72 percent and then didn't take a, a single ounce of damage after so um maybe flamethrower might have gotten me into range of uh of weavile maybe if it was fire blast it would have just straight knocked me out i don't know uh, but that could miss there were a lot of things uh, that could have played out differently this game, but uh, but yeah, no, great game to cheese. Uh, I think we both played this well, both prepped it well as well. Uh, I'm just really surprised no PZ. That's that's the only thing. The Porygon was was such a huge threat, and uh, I was actually really glad he didn't bring it. So um, I don't know. Maybe if we, if we face off again in playoffs, uh, I mean, one in three is not the worst record. You can still come back from that, so I wouldn't be discouraged by that. But if if we do end up playing in playoffs. We'll see. Maybe he'll actually bring the Porygon Z this time, or he'll bring a, de de a completely different team structure. I don't know, but uh, I'm really liking this new uh, this new build for this uh, the Habsols team, uh, the Moltres, the uh, the Whimsicott. Despite the Whimsicott not doing anything, I think it was still a great bring this game, uh, and Moltres actually did do something. It did get a kill on uh, on Zygarde. So, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be the game, guys. I uh, hope you did enjoy. As usual, make sure to leave a like down below if you uh, if you haven't done so already. Subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. Uh, leave me your comments. Uh, let me know what you thought of the game, what you're thinking of our season, and uh, make sure to go and check out all the NPL coaches as well in the description down below, and I will catch you guys next time. Ciao.